Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create an AI assistant that has access to third-party APIs. Uh, this is a really uh, great use case and I have received a bunch of questions about how one can accomplish this using SuperAgent. So I decided to set up a very basic demo on how this is done. So I want to create a shopping assistant that helps users to buy sneakers. And so I've added the prompt here for that. Uh, so you're a helpful shopping assistant, help the user to figure out what sneakers to wear by asking questions about color, size, etc. When you have the information you need, ask if the user uh, would want to, you know, uh, get the price and link to a sneaker and then use the Klarna API that I have connected to this assistant to fetch prices and links for the products. So. Basically, this is this is the very simple setup. This agent or assistant will ask a bunch of questions. When it has all of the answers it needs, it will you know make a call to the Klarna API and get some um, uh, prices and variants of shoes that we want to buy. So let's try it out. Okay, yes, I am Adidas sneakers. Let's see what it says. Okay, cool. Wide range of sneakers. So shoe size, preferred color. Let's do size nine. Color black. And no specific model. And then the budget between 200 to 300 USD. So now it should have all of the information it needs and do a request to the uh, Klarna API to receive, there we go, some, uh, you know, variants of shoes that fit the, the uh, description and the data that we have passed to the assistant. So this is what we're trying to achieve here. And I've already set up a uh, REPL here that I call AI Shopping Assistant. And very similar to the other tutorials, there are some prerequisites. We need to set our Open API key, Open AI API key, and our Super Agent API key. This can be found in the uh, Open AI uh, dashboard, and the Super Agent API key can be found in the Super Agent dashboard. So, what I've done here is that I've basically just added in the prompt that I showed you earlier. Let's do some more new lines here. And what we want to do is to set up this assistant programmatically. So the first thing we would need to do is to configure our LLM. And I do that here by just passing in a provider and the API key to OpenAI. That step is like the simplest and first step we always do. And then we have the agent itself. So here is an agent that I want to create. I'm calling it Shopping Assistant Test. A personal shopper that has access to the Klarna API. It's active. It has the prompt assigned to it. And I want to use GPT-4 as my model. And this is the, the third step. And this step is where we create the actual API, the Klarna API. And SuperAgent has two ways of doing that. Either you connect it to an existing ChatGPT plugin. We support all of the ChatGPT plugins uh, that are available and there are repositories where you can find uh, information about them. And we also support another uh, type of API, which is an open, AI, uh, open API uh, specification. And there are thousands of open API specifications out there. But I've chosen to go with the ChatGPT plugin. So all plugins have a manifest URL that you can find online. And so we define the name of the to, uh, API. We define when to use it. So useful for uh, searching after products and deals. The type, ChatGPT plugin. And then we need to pass in the ChatGPT plugin URL here in our metadata. And that's what, what I have done here and just pasted in the manifest the URL uh, for that specific ChatGPT plugin. So this is everything we need to do. And when we've, uh, you know, created the tool and the LLM, we actually also need to create uh, connect it to the agent. So that's what I've done here with the add LLM call, just passing in the LLM ID and the same thing with the tool. 
So just passing in the tool ID to the add tool method of the uh, TypeScript SDK. So let's go ahead and run this and see how it works. So now we're running it and there it's finished. So now in our dashboard, we should be able to see a assistant called shopping assistant test. Let's see if we can find that. There we go. And it should have the prompt that we added. Nice. And it should have GPT-4. Yes, it does. And it should have access to the Klarna API. Cool. So let's see if this works now. Do the same thing here as we did in the demo in the beginning. So I want to buy some Adidas sneakers today. Let's see what it says. All right, so he's asking for color and size. Let's do size nine, color blue. See what it answers. Now it's probably here are some cool. Okay, so we got some examples. It didn't ask for the budget, but we can add that in. Uh, budget of 200 to 300 USD. Let's see what it says. Now it's doing a new search. Perfect. So this is actually how you can, you know, work with different type of APIs in your assistants. And the nice thing about this is that it actually takes the user input and makes requests based on the user input. So you can add multiple APIs and you can configure your prompt however you would want to in order to create your own assistant. Now, like this assistant could go straight into a, uh, you know, e-commerce site and be a personal shopper as an, uh, that has access to all of the products of that e-commerce site, all of the files and prices and even images and stuff like that. So this is the bare bone basics on how you can create an assistant that has access to one or many APIs and that can take user input and trigger those APIs in order to find answers uh, to specific questions or, or in this case, give recommendations of products and stuff like that. So very simple to set up. Uh, I'll add the uh, link to the Replit uh, file in the comments. And there are, again, a bunch of repositories online when you can, where you can find open API specs or uh, ChatGPT plugin manifest files that you can directly import into SuperAgent and then build your assistance off of that. Thank you very much for listening. Have an amazing day. Bye.